Let's review on-farm network results, this time going over results from testing different biological products on-farm at the field scale in soybeans and pulses. These trials were started in 2019 and have tested a range of different products, each with different claims. The overall objective of these trials are to quantify the agronomic and economic impacts of different products. To answer that question, will a given biological product improve yield and provide a return on investment? Since 2019, 17 soybean trials have been conducted, comparing an application of a biological, often a foliar app, versus untreated soybeans. The choice of the product has been up to the farmer and applied according to label recommendations. In 2022, we also started pulse trials. There were two pea trials and a dry bean trial comparing an application of Invita in those crops to untreated. The map in the right here is the distribution of trials across the province. Green trials have been soybean trials, Yellow trials represent pea trials, and then dry beans are in blue. In these trials so far, we have tested a suite of different biological products, all with different claims. We've hosted seven in vita trials in soybeans in 2022, along with two in peas and one in dry beans. In vita is a nitrogen fixing biological. It's a different end fixing bacteria than our rhizobia species that live in root nodules. It works a little differently. So the bacteria in Invita, it lives in plant cells throughout the plant. In soybeans, we've also had three trials testing ohm biostimulant. So ohm claims to optimize plant nutrient utilization efficiency, overall improving, improving plant growth in that way. And then there have also been another seven trials looking at different products on different farms. So costs of all of these products listed on this page, they might range anywhere from $5 an acre up to $15 an acre. And then diving right into yield results, each set of paired bars, bars on this graph is a different on-farm trial, with the products tested listed along the bottom of each paired bar. Also along the bottom is the year it was tested in and which crop type. So soybeans trials are all on the left and then peas and dry beans. And the number above each set of paired bars is the yield difference between the biological treatment that was applied and the untreated crop. So far, there has been one significant yield response from these trials in 2022, right here highlighted in green. And that was a negative yield response, where an application of crop aid foliar actually reduced soybean yield by 1.8 bushels per acre. So we actually haven't really seen positive yield responses yet to the different biological products when we've tested them at the field scale on farm. But there are a lot of biological products out there on the market and they all have those different claims to fame. Ultimately, the best course of action here is to determine whether those claims are true and how those biological perfor products perform in your production system by testing them on your farm. So a lot of these products might not reliably change your yield or boost your production, but some of them might work and perform as they're marketed to. We won't know which are which and under what conditions we'll get those favorable outcomes until we test them. So we'll continue with biological trials, testing whatever product each farmer is interested in. And this is a really great way to see whether or not that investment in a new product is worth it on farm. If you're interested in learning more or conducting a trial on your farm, please reach out to us by contacting Ian, MPSG's on-farm network technical specialist. If you want to find more out about any of the on-farm trial results so far, they are all available in the results database, which can be found by following this QR code or by visiting manitobapulse.ca and visiting the on-farm network tab. Within that results database, there is a fully searchable map. You can also filter down by crop type, different trial types, years, and regions in the province. So I highly encourage you to check that out. So thanks for listening today. I've been Laura, MPSG's agronomist, and you can find more information at manitobapulse.ca or by following us on social media listed on this page.